Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be giving you guys some life advice that my mother passed down to me. And now I want to tell you guys so, you know, be a little family over here, okay? Um, number one, to always be confident no matter what. And not the whole fake it till you make it thing, because I definitely think some people can see through it and they can just be like, oh, like, you know you faking it until you make it kind of thing, you know, and then other people can really actually believe you, which, you know, that's, you know, that's the point, but to always be confident in yourself no matter what, um, and anything that you do, you know, even when you wake up in the morning and you look, you know, what you look like, you know, to always be confident in that. Number two, to not care what others think about you, and I definitely think this is a big one, and why do you care what other people think about you? Like, why do you let other people other people's opinion about you affect you, you know? Um, and I get it, some of you guys are gonna be like, oh, well, like, this person means the world to me, this person, like, I don't wanna let this person down, and da da, -da. The thing is, you shouldn't worry about other people, you should worry about yourself, because you are with yourself 24-7, you know? Like, you're always going to be with yourself, so you might as well, you know, take care of yourself and, you know, make yourself happy. Number three, don't ever let your blood boil. Don't ever let your blood boil to the point where, you know, you're just like fuming and you're just like, oh my goodness, and you're about to explode like a volcano, okay? Um, don't ever let someone or like an issue get to you to the point where, you know, you end up, you know, you know, like depressed or angry or you know just so upset about something that you just you just can never let it go don't ever let something get to you to the point where your blood starts to boil number four talk it out and i always say this and i've always said this um to talk it out with someone even if you don't have anyone if you're like girl i don't have anyone to talk to like i don't you know trust my friends i don't need really to talk to my family like that like i ain't close with them like this guess what you can talk to yourself lock yourself in the car lock yourself in the room okay lock yourself in the shower okay and just sit there and talk to yourself okay Okay, trust me, like, y'all gonna be like, yo, that's so crazy, like, who does that? A lot of people do, okay, don't judge, um, but that's the thing, like, talk it out, like, you have to talk it out, because if you keep it bottled in, think about it, when you keep something bottled in, okay, it's just gonna, over time, it's just gonna be there, and then you're gonna add more ish onto it, and then you're just gonna be, like, this angry, depressed person, and, you know, one day, you're gonna end up snapping, and, you know, God forbid, like, who knows, like, what that's gonna come to, like, you know, so talk it out, right when something's pissing you off, right when something's getting you upset, right when, you know, nothing is going your way in life, talk it out, you know, and trust me, you can cry, you can scream into your pillow, you can, you know, whatever it is that you do, let it all out, because you will feel so much better afterwards. Number five, stay true to who you are. You have to stay true to who you are, because if you think about it, if you're one of those people that, you know, are you get lost in a crowd you know like you you don't you act a certain way you know or um like you're not true to who you're not true to who you are you're to yourself basically like you know and you just you know follow the crowd and you're not a leader and you're just whatever they do you do because you know that's cool and everything think about it when these people leave their life which is bound to happen because you know that's just how life works um you're not going to be strong on your own two feet. You know, you're going to be really weak and you're not going to have anyone to, you know, basically control you. Like, you know, so you have to stay true to who you are and basically take control of your life and be the leader. Stop being the follower. Stop following people. Just because you see someone pretty or someone cute doing this doesn't mean it's for everybody, okay? Like, you need to know yourself and, you know, just lead that way. And number six, don't let people get to you. Don't ever let people get to you in a way where, you know, you become, like, like, so, so involved. Like, don't ever let people get to you in a way that, you know, whatever they say, whatever you take that to heart, you know, you're, you're like, oh my gosh, like, I, I have to, like, I have to look my best. I have to do this. I have to, I, I have to say like this. I have to talk like this. I have to walk like this. Like, no, like, stop getting, stop letting people get to you. Like, you know, um, stop letting people influence your life. Like, you should be, you know, you should be the one influencing other people's lives, not the other way around. You know what I'm saying? So don't ever let people get to you in whatever way, shape, or form it is. Don't. Like, you know, you are strong. You know, you are beautiful. You are everything that's great in life, okay, and don't ever let, don't ever, don't, don't ever, you know, don't let nobody get to you, okay?
I'm confused. Anyways, um, I hope you, I hope this helped. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you know you really do take away from this because I had definitely learned a lot, and I definitely do feel like you know my mama has a lot of wisdom. You know what I'm talking about. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.